Well, that was an excerpt from the controversial and some would say scurrilous new British picture, The General Synod's Life of Christ. <laughs> the film deals with the rise to fame and greatness of a humble carpenter's son named Jesus Christ. But many people have seen in the film a thinly disguised and blasphemous attack on the life of Monty Python. <laughs> Python worshippers claim the film sets out to ridicule by parody the actual members of Monty Python. <laughs> Men who even today are worshipped and revered throughout the Western world. <laughs> Now, Alexander Walker, what did you think of the picture? <clears throat> well, I was, I was appalled. I mean, I actually find it deeply offensive that in a country that is still ostensibly a python worshipping country <laughs> that a 14 year old child can actually get in to see this film i mean there is there is little enough proper python around these days without parading this distorted garbage about bishop you directed the film uh, did you expect this kind of reaction <laughs> well well i certainly didn't expect the spanish inquisition <laughs> yes Yes, I did. Yes, I did direct the film. And I feel as though I must emphasize at this stage that it is not about Python. Oh, come on. I'm not a Pythonist. <laughs> I'm not a Pythonist myself. But obviously, I have a tremendous amount of respect for people like Alexander, who are. Oh, come I, now. Now, come now, Bishop. I mean, the leading figure in this film, what is it? Uh, uh, Je Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. I mean, it's quite <laughs> clear, quite clearly, a lampoon of the comic messiah himself, <laughs> our Lord John Cleese. <laughs> well, come on, I mean, even the initials, no, J.C., no, no, are exactly I, the same. No, 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 no. I must explain. I feel it. I, I must explain to you. The Christ figure is not clean. Oh, come on. No, he's just an ordinary man who happens to have been born in Western Supermare at the same time as Mr. Clean. Jonathan, you no, know that, as well no, as I he do. Is mistaken, the point he is mistaken for the comic messiah himself by vast crowds of people who follow him about doing silly walks, um, shouting, shouting, no, no, not the comfy chair, and <laughs> other <laughs> slogans from the good box. No, I'm. S and, <laughs> I'm sorry, John I'm sorry, Jonathan, whatever you say, this film is a highly distasteful one. I mean, have people forgotten how Monty Python suffered for us? I know. <laughs> how often the sketches failed? <laughs> I mean, these men died for us. Frequently. I mean, if Python is immortal, as Pythonists believe, then I'm, I can't believe that a mere film, a tenth rate, film. could put them off. I mean, in the, words, in the words of John Cleese, whenever two or three are gathered together in one place, then they shall perform the parrot sketch. It is an ex. <laughs> it is an ex parrot. It, it has ceased to be. Indeed. Well, Alexander Walker, the final scene of the picture has attracted the most attention. Right. Well, I mean, this. I mean, now, now here, I think we have the ultimate blasphemy. I mean, ultimate. it is. It is set in a hotel in Torquay, where literally hundreds of Spanish waiters are being clipped about the ear by this Jesus Christ bloke. Um, it, it, it is obviously a lampoon of the comic messiah's greatest half it's hour. It's not at all. The point, it's well, Torbay. Well, thank you both oh, very much Torbay, indeed, Torquay. Uh, I mean, Bishop, uh, Alexander Walker, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.